hey, After Effects people. So if you're rendering a lot of comps, then it can get a little bit messy. Fortunately, the After Effects team have figured out some ways to make that easier by automatically naming your comps and even sorting them into subfolders. We're in Adobe After Effects and I have some very, very simple compositions set up here. There's a couple of landscape ones and there's a couple of portrait ones as well. So what we wanna do, first of all, is just sort of see what the default behavior is. If I press Command M, Control M on Windows, uh, that's just gonna bring up this automatically, put them in the queue here, press render, and it's gonna spit them out right next to my comp like that, which is fine, maybe that's what you want. However, if we do that again, I'll delete those, press Command M again, and now if you look under the output to little pop-up menu here, it says custom, I'm gonna choose that, and you get brought into this uh, template dialog box. There's a whole bunch of presets in there which they've thoughtfully already uh, set up for you, but what we wanna do is create our own. And by looking under add property, there's all these different variables, and variable if you're familiar with programming at all, it's just like a name of something that gets replaced, kind of holds a value. So all of that, all the variables in this instance are in these little square brackets. That's the default one, comp name dot file extension. So let's start by adding one here, which is gonna be project folder. And then I wanna put a slash. And that's gonna do the same thing as we currently have. It'll put it in the project folder. So what I'm gonna add is just the word renders and another slash. So that will figure out where the After Effects project is saved. And then it'll create a folder called renders if it isn't there already. And then it'll save the render with a comp name and file extension. With this little new document icon, if I click that, I can create a new template. Let's call it uh, renders folder. That seems pretty sensible. And then hit OK. It's automatically put that there. And if I hit return now, we'll see this one, which doesn't have that new preset, and this one does. I can just select it up there by going output to and renders folder. And now when I hit render, hey presto, they've both gone into the renders folder. So that's pretty neat. You can make any of those output templates a default as well. If I go to the output um, pop up here again, go custom and choose which one I want to be default. That one's already the default. I can click on there, press default, and that will be the default every time I add something to the render queue. And a shortcut for doing that is just to pick it from here while holding down the command key or control key on window, and it will make that the default next time you add anything to the render queue. There are a bunch of other tokens that you can access under the template setup window uh, thing. And here's one I set up earlier, which is gives it a date and uh, time stamp. So you could call this timestamp. And then whenever you uh, render everything, make that the default timestamp. It'll actually put the time and date against the file name, which might be handy. So that one has the time and date stamp on it. Finally, I think this might be my favorite trick of all. You can actually override or add your own little subfolders as well. So if I put down here a landscape and then a slash against the front of both of those file names, and then I'll put portrait, portrait, and then a slash at the front of both of these file names, or comp names rather, it will still uh, respect everything else that I've set up under the output template, but it will also use those as additional subfolders. So if I do my renders folder default, For all of those hit render and it's automatically going to put those into subfolders underneath based on those names there so that's an incredibly powerful way of organizing your renders very quickly and very easily and making you look like a pro probably what do you reckon automatically sorting things out and automatically naming things it's pretty powerful stuff pretty Pretty heady, pretty invigorating, intoxicating even. Uh, I like it a lot. I hope you do too. My name's Ian. Uh, if you like this, then you know what to do. Press the like button, this little thumbs up, so it's not even confusing. 
See you next time. <laughs>